today I would like to do a tapping uh, session to bring your nervous system back to a neutral emotion regarding the worst scenario thought and stop yourself from thinking about that. So if you are used to go directly on autopilot to the worst case scenario and try to examine it from all angles because you have this illusion of protection that if you prepare yourself for the worst, it's going to be easier if it happens. This is the tapping session. Of course, you have to be in the situation and maybe you can recall the situation and what you feel on demand. It's, it's more rare, but some people are so anxious that they can have access to that bad feeling immediately. That, that's unfortunately the situation. Connect to your worst case scenario. Connect to an episode of you thinking about the worst case scenario for your teen or something else. You can apply that to anything. And feeling that you have to think about that to be prepared, to be strong enough to deal with it if and when it's going to happen. And let's start tapping on the side of the hand. Even though I'm thinking about this worst case scenario, and you can give it a title, let's say, I'm thinking about my teen being depressed. I'm thinking about the problem that I have with filling the blank. Fill in the blanks. Even though I'm thinking about that worst case scenario, and I can feel that knot in my stomach, or wherever you're feeling it, in your neck, whatever you're feeling, I am aware that it's not serving me. And that's not where I want to infuse energy right now. So I choose to put my attention somewhere else. And I choose to be loving to myself by cho choosing the highest good scenario for myself, which is thinking about something else. Even though I'm thinking about this worst case scenario, that problem, and I feel that knot in my stomach, I choose to not put my energies there. And I know that where attention goes, energy flows. Therefore, I choose to focus on something that is serving me better. And I love myself that way. Even though I can't hold myself yet from thinking about the worst case scenario, that problem. And I feel so much anxiety and that ball in my stomach. I choose to no longer send energy to that thought. I know that where attention goes, energy flows. And I choose to not send any energy to that thought. And I choose to love myself in that way. That problem that I'm thinking about. that ball of anxiety in my stomach, that illusion of protection, that misguided part of myself that is thinking that I'm preparing myself for when it's going to happen, that illusion of protection, that worst case scenario that is just a bad habit of thoughts. That ball of anxiety in my stomach. I choose to let go of that thought. 
it is safe to no longer send any energy to that thought. It is safe and wise to switch direction. It is in my highest good and in the highest good of my teenager to intervene on myself. I choose to let go of that bad habit. This worst case scenario hasn't happened. This worst case scenario is not under my control. Therefore, I choose to let go of that thought. I will know what to do if and when it happens. There are ways to figure it out in the moment. I choose to not send any energy to that thought. I now let it go and I tap into the highest potential for myself and my teenager. It is safe to let go of that thought. I can let go of that thought. That thought doesn't help anyone in any way. It is not time to think or take action about that thought. It is safe to let go of that thought. I now decide to let go of that thought. I do not want to send any energy to that thought, not now and not later. I choose what is best for myself and my teenager. I choose a higher vibration potential. I choose a better what if. And that's from last week's episode. I choose to step into my power. I choose to free myself from the anxiety of that thought. I choose to let go of the ball in my stomach. It is safe to let go of that thought and to let go of the ball of anxiety in my stomach. And now what I forgot to tell you just before we tap was to measure how strong the anxiety was about that thought. But you can now assess to see if the ball in your stomach or whatever physical symptom you felt regarding that worst case scenario your thought has either become smaller or it's not there at all. Or if earlier your anxiety was at a 10, now it's at a four. And if it's at a four, I would recommend doing, rewinding and doing two more uh, rounds of tapping or maybe three until you feel that it's at least a two or a one. Uh, 